Hey, what's up guys? I'm redoing my camper van setup, so I'm going to post up a few videos um, throughout the process. I'm not going to actually film the construction really, but um, I'm redoing the interior of my van uh, basically because after I went camping in it for a month, I, I learned a lot of lessons. I learned a lot about how I want the interior of the van set up. And uh, the way that I previously had it set up, it wasn't wasn't working really uh, good. And uh, so I'm redoing the whole interior of the van and I'll show you where I'm at right now with the interior. So this is my van, a 2016 Ford Transit Connect wagon with the entire interior removed. This is the current, current state of my van right now. Uh, I pulled two boxes out. This was one of the boxes that I pulled out right here that was mounted inside the van. There's an there's another video on my YouTube channel of what my setup was before, but before I had a bench over here with the water tank underneath and then this other black box here on the front and it kind of flipped open on the side. But uh I had some issues with my uh foam mattress like actually falling into the crack on the side and um and on the back and it was it wasn't really that um it wasn't really a good setup so i'm redoing it and this is where i'm at right now um <clears throat> i'm gonna go with a uh sofa bed uh setup uh and i got this idea after watching some of the eric enjoys earth uh videos and uh, this is where I'm at right now with it. Um, so after I pulled all that stuff out, I'm back down to the plywood floor, which is bolted in. Um, this is my big ARB uh, fridge freezer. Unfortunately, um, it's really big. Uh, I wish it was smaller, but I have to work around the size of this thing. Um, because it's it just takes up a really massive footprint. I don't really want to buy another fridge freezer because this thing was really expensive. But I've had it for like almost like 15 years, and it still works, which is amazing. Um, but anyways, back to the build. So this is where I'm at now. Um, basically, if you're not familiar with the design, the way it's going to work is this is actually going to be higher. But uh, this is basically going to be in a bed mode here, and then it'll slide. It'll slide up to a seat. And this is actually going to be back here. It's not bolted down yet, so I'm not sure if you guys will get the gist just by watching this video, but you can see what it's kind of what I'm trying to kind of do here this is going to be back here it's going to be pinned down to this frame it's going to be all framed out um, and yeah there's going to be some locking mechanisms so this is where I'm at now and um, I'm going to be working on it but I'm going really really slow with the build because I want to make sure this is done properly and it's going to be really tight it's going to be right up against the wall here it's going to be a little gap. I'm going to have an opening here. There's going to be storage underneath. I might build a cabinet on the side here, but the ARB is going to stay there. I think that's where I want it to live. That's where it's going to stay. It's not going to move. Um, and I'm going to have a little bit of room over here for some, some water storage, some five gallon water storage. And um, that's how it's going to be. I, th I think I'm going to build out this threshold here with some plywood because this plastic piece that was in here was just kind of garbage. It had this raised lip that was really annoying. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time and build out this threshold to make it solid. Um, but yeah, this is so like I said, it's on the ground right now with these two by fours, but this is all going to be raised. I think it's I'm going to measure it out. I think I'm going to have it at maybe 12 or 13 inches in height. So there's going to be some space underneath, but I'm working with a really, really tight space in here. 
so it's really tricky and challenging plus the floor is not level so i'm gonna have to figure out a few uh a few other mechanisms to get this thing to work but i think this is going to be pretty ideal uh for a camping setup and uh since i've already gone camping for a month in this thing i've I learned a lot and it's gonna it's gonna be um this is gonna be an improvement for sure uh Stay tuned. I'll post up another clip uh, maybe in a week or two or something of my, uh, with my progress of the build. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go real slow because I'm going to make sure everything is done properly the first time around. And um, we'll see how this turns out. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.